All right, let's look at the structural similarities between these three chemicals here. They're in a data booklet, copyright IB, that's where I got them from, and they are mind-altering drugs. This is the last section of drugs and medicine. All right, looking at past papers and uh, textbooks, it seems the two things you've really got to know are that psilocybin and LSD share this structure here, kind of benzene ring with the five-sided doodar attached. That's called the indole ring, or indole. And that appears in psilocybin and LSD. Again, you don't need to remember it's those two chemicals specifically. You can just look it up in the data booklet. The second thing it seems that the IB want you to know are that there are amines everywhere. Don't forget an amine is a nitrogen with at least one carbon attached to it. Uh, that's not a perfect uh, definition, but that's good enough for IB. All right, there is an amine in mescaline there, primary amine. Psilocybin, well, that has a tertiary amine there. And that looks like an amine in LSD, but you know what? It isn't, because see that carbonyl, that C double bond O, that makes that into an amide. The amine's actually there. There's a tertiary amine just on that part there. What on earth is this P-O-O-O poo thing? No, nope, don't need to know what that is. O-C-H-3, well, those are ethers. That's not on the course either, unless you're doing further organic, which you're not. You're doing drugs and medicine, so you don't need to learn that either.